Today is the press conference for Lemonade Day. Well, Lemonade Day began seven years ago in Louisiana, okay. uh, started by myself and Todd Graves and um, the business community uh, organizing children to build their own lemonade stands on a certain day of the year. So this year will be our seventh year where we'll have lemonade stands statewide in every city, parish, and town uh, where children are selling lemonade uh, on the stands. You can go on our site, uh, LouisianaLemonadeDay.org, and, and, and learn on how to pick up a backpack, a tutorial, and learn how to build your own lemonade stand, working with a parent or a mentor. And it's fun because you make money, save money, spend money, and uh, give money to charity. And if it's not fun, it's not worth doing when you're young. You can do it with a friend, a sibling, or a parent. Uh, also, uh, you make money. And when you're young, you know, a little money uh, is a lot of fun. And then you can give money to a charity so you can start to learn about the community needs and helping people. And uh, also, you get to buy, maybe save money, spend money, and give money to a charity of your type. Uh, it was founded in 2007 by Michael Holthouse in uh, Houston, Texas, and it started when uh, Michael Holthouse's daughter wanted to buy a turtle, and obviously they could afford one, but her dad said, I'm not going to buy you one, you have to earn it. So she got the idea to start a lemonade stand to, to raise money, uh, to make money, rather, to, um, to buy the turtle, and from there it kind of clicked, hey, this is a great way to teach children that when they want something, they got to work for it, and so that's where Lemonade Day came from. A new exciting thing we're doing for our kids to bring them into understanding what free enterprise system does, how it works, and really to understand it because it makes us the greatest economy in the world. And we want our kids to understand it, celebrate it, and then partake of it in the future to be participants in the economy and to make uh, the, the city and the state and the nation's economy better. So we're excited about kids finally understanding about free enterprise. It's been a great thing for all of us. We'd like them to understand it too. And there's no better way to do that than by giving young people a platform to uh, experience business for themselves and to experience entrepreneurship firsthand. I think there's many things. Uh, one, they learn the value of money uh, beyond just the things they want uh, or, or even the things that they need. They really start to understand uh, how money works. Uh, they start to understand that they can access the opportunity that is entrepreneurship. Um, they uh, learn how to uh, work as a team, they learn how to you know, create, be creative, and they learn how to engage with other people, which is so critical no matter what jobs they'll have in the future. So I think there's so many takeaways from this type of experience. Well, because it starts, it needs to start them off at an early age instead of waiting till you get to college or even as an adult to try to learn and figure these things out. As the, the, the younger you can learn, the more you're going to learn, um, the more you'll be prepared for once you do get to college and into life. Well, Saints and Pelicans have been involved in, uh, since the inaugural year as a, as a major sponsor. And uh, because, again, with all of these athletes that we have, kids see us and want to talk about making money, but there's only a few of us that's going to make it. So you got to have something else to fall back on and something else to actually make money for. Because even with us, once we're done playing, we still need to have something to go back or go into business-wise. So we, having that knowledge at a young age helps out a lot. Today we're going to talk to the kids about the importance of um, skills that you can learn outside of school that you know schools don't always teach you like starting a business and advertising and public speaking those are the things that we're going to talk to the kids about today. One day we are going to be the businessmen and women of tomorrow and so I think it's very important for us to learn things that will help us to excel in life outside of school once we have graduated from school. I think it's such a great organization. I was just telling my friend that I wish that I had programs like this when I was growing up to teach kids how to be responsible and to really go forth in the world and be the best they can be. I've been living day, day um, by myself. I did it two years and then I started working with um, GOZ Youth. Um, this is going to be the second year. During Lemonade Day, I learned the ability to start your own business. That's my goal. I want to be a TV producer and I want to production company. So it shows me the way of um, spending money and uh, making a business plan. We'll start off with Mr. Tyrone Hughes, from former New Orleans Saints. You step this out, yeah. Mr. Larry Washington, of Junior Achievement. We have Mr. Ashton Ryan, first NBC Bay. Yes, that's fine. We have Miss Malia Papillon, Miss Louisiana USA. 
Miss Ellie Picconi, Miss Louisiana Teen USA. We have New Orleans Lemonade Day City Champion, Mr. Boise Bollinger. We have uh, New Orleans Area Director for Raising Canes, Mr. Derek Dunn. <laughs> Lemonade Day co-founder and Georges Enterprises CEO, Mr. John Georges. <laughs> All right. Well, without any further ado, I'd like to introduce Mr. Larry Washington of uh, Junior Achievement. Uh, thank you for having us here today, and uh, welcome. Thanks, thanks for being a part of this. First, uh, good morning, guys, and, and welcome to Junior Achievement. Uh, we get excited about a lot of different things that happen here, you can imagine, in a place like this, but particularly about welcoming uh, Lemonade Day. When we think about Junior Achievement and the fact that we teach young people about entrepreneurship, what better way to submit that, that teaching, that learning, than to be able to have a Lemonade stand and really see uh, how business works firsthand. So uh, again, welcome to Junior Achievement. We're excited to uh, have you guys here. We're excited to be a part of Lemonade Day uh, and can't wait to see so many kids across New Orleans with their lemonade stands in the, uh, in the coming month. So thank you guys. Thank you, Larry. To his point, there are a lot of kids in New Orleans area, which is very exciting. Uh, last year, I think we had close to seven to 8,000 backpacks distributed just in New Orleans alone. So it's a great achievement. So thanks for touching on that. Next, I'd like to introduce Mr. Uh, Tyrone Hughes, uh, former New Orleans Saints. Well, thank you guys very much for uh, having us. And uh, as a representative of New Orleans Saints and Pelicans, uh, we'd like to say, um, first of all, thanks a lot and congratulations to everyone out there that's going to be participating. And uh, this is a great opportunity for kids, mainly, uh, to get a start as, as, as entrepreneurs and what it is to be an entrepreneur. And, uh, you know, it could start off, uh, it could lead to uh, them becoming the next Steve Job or Oprah Winfrey or Tyler Perry or uh, Bill Gates or John Georges or Todd Graves or Ashton Ryan. You know, um, this is a great opportunity for kids to, to start to learn. But most importantly is also they're going to learn how to give back to the community by donating back, you know, some of their proceeds. That's one of the biggest things because we have to take care of ourselves and we have to take care of each other. Uh, you know, as, as they say, it, it takes a village to raise a, to raise a child. And right now we need that village to come along, especially these days. And for these kids to learn uh, responsibility uh, as it pertains to their finances and, and grow uh, to become bigger and better uh, business people, um, to, take, to give back to the community, uh, it's a great opportunity, it's a great pleasure, and again, uh, with having the Saints being around since the inaugural season uh, of this, you know, they've seen it grown. Uh, it has grown for the last six years into a wonderful event, and it's getting bigger and bigger every year. So, again, I'd like to congratulate and thank Mr. Georges for having this opportunity and having the uh, foresight to have this done. And um, hopefully these kids can learn something out of it and get something out of it and uh, do a great job and become great entrepreneurs. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tyrone. And to his point, the Saints and the Falcons have been huge supporters of Lemonade Day in Louisiana since we were founded in 2010. And we are very thankful for all their generous support in uh, helping us reach the community and every year helping us with our backpack stuffing. So thank you on behalf of Lemonade Day for all y'all's support. Next, I'd like to introduce a man who's no stranger to Lemonade Day, Louisiana, his former uh, New Orleans City champion and president of uh, and CEO of First NBC Bank, Mr. Ashton Ryan. Mr. Ashton. Thank you very much. It's a real opportunity for us at First MEC to participate in something that benefits our community and benefits our kids. We're a community bank and we focus on the community. We got involved when John asked me the first year would we be a major sponsor for this uh, Lemonade Day program and we thought it was a wonderful, wonderful idea and we were really excited about getting involved. I served as city champion several years ago and the excitement of the kids uh, as they do this program. I went with them, uh, we s toured all around the city and saw the stands. I went on television, watched the kids uh, prepare uh, their uh, product and serve it on uh, TV stations. The excitement is just wonderful. And if we can have all of our kids understand the greatness of our free enterprise system and how they can live the American dream, I think it'd be great. So this is a great thing we do. Uh, I personally have enjoyed being involved with it. We'll continue to do this. And so let's just ask one thing of all of us. We see a stand, let's stop and buy some lemonade. Thank you, Mr. Ryan, for continued support. Next, I'd like to introduce the 2016 New Orleans City Champion, no stranger in New Orleans at all, Mr. Boise Bollinger. 
I've been involved with Lemonade Day since day one. When John and Todd brought this to Louisiana, I thought it was one of the most fantastic things they could do for our future because we teach these children how to be entrepreneurs. Uh, when you think about it, the first reward they get is how to be able to spend money on themselves. But a big component is how to save money and how to give money. The three major components that are necessary, I think, to be a good and outstanding entrepreneur. So it's my pleasure when John and Todd asked me to be the city champion to respond, I think, in about 10 seconds. Uh, I believe in the program. I'm glad to be a part of the success of this year's program. And I think, like Ashton said, if you see a stand, buy some lemonade. It's very, very important for the revenue side of the stream. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Boise. Next, I'm going to introduce Miss Louisiana USA, Malia Papadion. Thank you so much for having me. The Miss Louisiana organization has now been a part of Lemonade Day for four years now, so I'm very excited to be here to continue the tradition. And just like these gentlemen have said, it's so important for us to instill these principles in our children today so that they can be better tomorrow. And what better way to teach them by leading by example and also teaching them to give back. I'm a firm believer in paying it forward, so this is kind of our way for making our state a better state for tomorrow and in the future. So once once again, thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be a part of the event, and I'm very excited for this year. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we'll introduce Miss Louisiana Teen USA, Ellie Picconi. Hi. Um, first, I'd like to say thank you for having me today. You know, I'm very honored that Malia and I were asked to be here. Um, being 16 years myself, um, I know I can remember having a lemonade stand with my brothers and. Um, at the time, it was just about, you know, getting some change to go get ICs with mom or put them in a little penny jar, but now I realize the skills that we learned through making a lemonade stand, like working together as a team or advertising our business or walking around, you know, our neighborhood and the places that we were to um, get more customers and perseverance when you didn't have anybody buying and the reward of working hard when people did come to buy it. So um, it's very important to children today and uh, we are raising up this generation, my generation, to be the business when, men and women of tomorrow. So thank you for having us and I'm excited to work with you. Thank you, Elle. Next, I'll introduce the man who made this program possible and brought it to Louisiana, especially particularly New Orleans, Mr. John Georges. Thank you all. Wow, what a great lineup we have this year to have Boise Bollinger as our New Orleans champion. Boise has done more in philanthropy and will continue to do more for philanthropy to Louisiana, not only honoring our great soldiers of World War II Museum with the legacy gift, but also today being involved with Lemonade Day for the last seven years. So we're honored to have probably Louisiana's biggest a uh, successful businessman and also biggest philanthropist to do it here in New Orleans is a tribute to how much the business community cares about the entire community. And seeing us all come together here today is another example of how great a community we live in. So I want to thank everyone. We've been doing this for seven years. We're now statewide. It began in Houston, Texas and uh, quickly embraced with Todd Graves, myself and the Saints got together and there has been no one in the community that has ever turned us down, not been willing to support it. And uh, like everybody else, I want to remind everybody, what, what day, what's the date of the April 30th to, to buy lemonade and support our future entrepreneurs in Louisiana? Thank you. Thank you, John. And last but not least, I'd like to introduce uh, Derek Dunn of Raising Canes. Raising Canes is also uh, one of the founding uh, presenting sponsors here and without their support in the New Orleans area it would be impossible to get these backpacks distributed to all these children. So Derek. Thank you Jordan. Uh, thank you John and, and all of our sponsors uh, and our partners. Uh, Raising Canes is, we, this is obviously our seventh year, it's, it's been a, a fun and exciting journey for us and uh, we, this is a near and dear program uh, to Raising, Raising Canes. Uh, Todd his, his inspiration behind this thing was, you know, Raising Cane's started with that entrepreneurial spirit and that drive that, that uh, we're looking for in our youth. And, you know, Todd and myself and my kids, you know, we all try to raise our kids and Todd was raised to, to look and, and drive and, and find that opportunity uh, to grow from a business standpoint. And this is a good vehicle to do that. And so that is the main goal and focus behind our 
uh, attempt to bring Lemonade Day to Louisiana and why we continue to, uh, to present that uh, to the youth of, of New Orleans and the state of Louisiana as a whole. So we're excited to be here again another year. Uh, we could not do it without our sponsors and partners, so thank you guys uh, for rising to the occasion and, uh, and, and helping us out with this mission. So uh, we're looking forward to a tremendous year and some great participation citywide. So thank you very much. Thank you, Derek. All right, so once again, Limit A Day 2016 is on April 30th, Saturday, uh, coming up right around the corner, be here before we know it. Uh, this year we're going to reach 20,000 kids statewide, which is a huge accomplishment from where we started back in 2010. Uh, we're very excited this year. Uh, backpacks will be stuffed tomorrow and they'll be out next week, so we look forward to that. Uh, and registration is always encouraged online at um, louisiana.lemonadeday.org. You can also apply for expos that we have, uh, free uh, expos that the Junior League is, is hosting as well. In Baton Rouge, we have some as well. Uh, and we encourage all kids to uh, participate in our tasting contests, which will be held at the Audubon Zoo on April 16th as well. So we encourage you to get your friends, family, and anyone in all schools participants to register as soon as they can because the backpacks will go fast. And last year, we actually had uh, people reaching out after uh, mid-April, we were already out before May 2nd, which was pretty impressive. So uh, we know this year they're going to they're gonna fly out. So uh, we encourage you all to register fast and get the backpacks from Canes or Rouse as soon as you can. So last year we reached 15,000 kids. This year we're going to do 20,000 kids. Every year we're growing substantially and, and more and more kids are getting involved, more and more schools. So the program is just growing nationwide. We're now in 50 states. It's reached a million kids. So it's, it's unbelievable the growth that the program is having. They need to go online at louisiana.lemonade.org and register online and then print out that program, that piece of paper certificate, and bring it to any Raising Canes or Rouse's Market in the state of Louisiana and they can pick up their backpacks from there. The backpack comes with an uh, entrepreneur workbook, a mentor guide for their parent, a mentor to teach them how to work the program, and then a free uh, Kids Achievement Award from Raising Canes as well as other coupons from Ottoman Zoo and many, many other sponsors. The process of with the book um, that they give you, it's very set and soon and it's a very easy guide. Divided, not trying to do the same thing we did last year and making something new, whether it's like a frozen lemonade or like a regular lemonade. Um, we're going to be in the ninth ward where the new um, CVS is in the ninth ward on the opposite side of the street. Well, we, um, me and my friends and cousins, we were at the end advertising and making and trying to make people come over and buy our lemonade. I learned that if you if everyone can work together, then we can get stuff done. If you really get a chance, buy some lemonade for some kids, okay? They do good work. Mom buys all the ingredients, but we know the kids uh, do the sales. And the excitement of the children is just fabulous. So it, there, there'll be thousands of them throughout the city of New Orleans. Take advantage of stop and tell about it to go and buy some lemonade. Well, there are many ways you can support it. One is to encourage uh, a, a youth to sign up for the program and go online, learn about it. And the second thing you can do is you can, you can donate to uh, the, the corporate sponsorships. But more importantly, on Lemonade Day, you can just buy yourself a glass of lemonade. It's really good.